So what are we going to do with all this cool stuff here? From the sound of it, it definitely wants to go somewhere. Cooling seems to be its purpose. So let's get something to cool. Station that will just keep heating. Yeah, it's, it's that fast. It is my new airlock. You saw that in that other video. Pure oxygen, no Martian atmosphere. Admittedly, the opposite direction takes a bit longer because the room is so big. Maybe I could use multiple of these uh, uh, vents. Actually, I could. Using the named approach. Hmm. Honestly, I can't tell if it's faster. I mean, not right now. We're pumping out. Only the video comparison could show. Equalize. How long does it take? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, let's get it warm in there and let's use that stuff there for cooling. No, oh, 25 degrees already. So the idea I have is I'm using the evaporation chamber. So the liquid would go in here, it would evaporate. We know that... Uh, shut up, pipe! It would uh, evaporate... Uh, we know that evaporation cools stuff down. And so from our minus 20 degrees, we would go down even further. And this would then have some thermal side effects, which we can uh, enjoy here. I will just put some oxygen in, in this uh, pipe stuffs. And then we will have here the gas output connection, which, well, that will be the gas that comes out there, which will also be cold. So I can pump it here into a pipe, and uh, then I have to, get, mm, have to get some kind of system that stops this and maybe lets this simmer for a while and eventually eva uh, evacuates it to take another breath for, of cooling later again. That's the idea. I don't know if it's a good one. If it will work, let's try. Almost finished setting everything up. <laughs> Evaporation chamber, because we will have a lot of pollutant. Why not keep that around? Three, six, three, two, one. Could someone write this down? Thank you. So, here we have our nice coolant, and it goes that away. It goes that away. Man, I do love my airlock. It goes into the evaporation chamber and in case it comes out again as gas it will go into this line which is insulated and uh, yeah, it allows uh, condensation into that container. None of that has happened yet. Nope, nothing. Complete version. Oh yeah, well I switched on for a very very short moment. Anyway, so this is uh, where the thermal energy will be conducted with the room. The room is at 29.9, we have 29.8. First I installed this gas sensor, force of habit, but I'm not using it. I'm just using this uh, pipe analyzer here, which will detect what the temperature is in that pipe, because that pipe represents the room temperature. It will be equalized. And only when the temperature here is uh, 25 degrees or more Celsius, Will this thing switch on just for one moment, like yield, and then it will count down 10 times, so 10 years effectively? Because certainly it would take some time for whatever happened in there to have affected this, and so I thought, yeah, let's just give it a short kick in the butt. See what that does. Okay, nose diving. 25 was the level. It was still slightly above 25, that's why it kicked in again. Very good timing, very good timing. Now it will stay off because it's cold enough. The room is of course still hot. But it will slowly cool down, hypothetically. I haven't yet waited for so long. I've waited for so long. Uh, aha, here we're getting some uh, megapascals of pressure. Nothing is yet in the liquid tanky thingy. And by the way, this is a an active vent. Once the uh, this pipe here reaches a pressure of 45 megapascals, it will just uh, turn on the vent for un until that condition is no longer fulfilled. So in other words, if the room has heated those pipes, then those pipes will be cooled by this thing turning on for a moment. And um, 
whatever waste goes in here possibly will lead to some pollutant in here yet I don't I, I haven't seen that yet even though there was tons of pollutant at the very first run when I hadn't set the uh, the condensation stuff up yet and uh, in the end it will just be vented outside I could actually also say yeah let's put some some filtration unit here to suck out the co2 and pump it into the room that might actually make sense um, I don't know yet but uh, the first all of business was cooling. So is the room cooling? Yeah, it was at 29 point something. Behold, me flying very slowly. I was at 30 degrees back here, now it's 28, so it's going, it's improving. Not surprisingly. Which also heats up this stuff once more. But eventually, of course, then it would just turn on this thing for a short moment and so forth. I believe we will be able to live off that tank out there for a long time very very long yes that that long and you know what let's uh, take some break some video cutting breaks and look at this thing develop because I have nothing more to offer for today <laughs> oh it's reaching 25 soon even rather quickly I mean this is this was just 15 seconds or what? Look at it climb. Could make this even faster if I added more pipe radiators, but ah, come on. I mean, how hot will the room get normally? It was at 29 or 30 even back in the corner. This thing is effective. The target temperature though is 25. Maybe I should lower that to 23? 24.8 let's see what happens remember it's rounded so once it reaches 25 it will not kick in instantly but slight delayed and 25 actual come on aha uh -huh. that's short that short little kick so much power maybe we should talk about the source code where we at it Okay, so at the beginning we're defining the devices once more, the fundamentals of coding. I will not explain in this video, of course. Uh, we're defining the proximity sensor for the PC. Okay, that's irrelevant, but I wanted the PC to turn on when I'm closed. Uh, the gas sensor is irrelevant, we're not using it. Then we have the evaporation chamber. Then we have the vent that prevents overpressurization of the waste pipe. And then we have two pipe analyzers. Um, this one... Uh, is for finding out if the pipe has too much pressure, the voice pipe, you know, and this one is uh, telling the the evaporation chamber to turn on again because this stuff has reached 25 degrees once more. And then we have the variable uh, chamber slow down, you know, I don't want, I, I explained that already. So, start here, la 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 la, start. So what's happening here? First, we are making sure that both pipe analyzers are locked and on, so the user cannot interfere with our ability to measure precisely. Then we have the proximity sensor thing, no one cares. Then here, for reasons that I uh, thought were relevant, I measured the temperature of the waste gas pipe, and then I thought, nah, we'll just forget it, just use the heat exchanger pipe for getting the temperature right, and this pipe should just build up pressure um, until it is unreasonably high and then we just uh, unleash that. This ore here is a remnant. I could just remove this but I don't want it. So we are having a zero here and we are ore in the potential one of overpressurization into it and then we are turning the vent on. I've seen that this works. So now the, we are loading the heat exchanger temperature. This one. This is an unnerving, isn't it? Um, and um, then we're subtracting na, na, na so that it's Celsius. And I'm saying if that is less than uh, 25, 25 degrees, then I jump back to start because why should I continue? But otherwise, I will subtract one from chamber slow down. And um, if that is greater than zero, we jump back to start. Otherwise, we initialize that once more with 10. And we turn the evaporation chamber on, yield, and turn it off again. And that's the entire thing.
I mean, that's way more elaborate a cooling than I thought I would build. Um, but it... I mean, the interesting part is, even though it is Mar Martian day, which with which currently has 19-ish degrees, uh, it will work. It will cool down the room. And when I say, hey, cool down the room to 10 degrees, I will just set that one moment, then it should do that. It's 19 degrees here, but we can reach, achieve 10 degrees in there. Behold my first look. 25, uh, 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 10 degrees. Go. Uh, yeah, that, that might be the slowdown that is currently kicking in. Yeah, yeah. Because that slowdown thing counts only once it is beyond the detec detection threshold, which is a bit imperfect, maybe. But, I mean, we're talking about very slow balancing processes here, so it doesn't matter. Now it should... No, not yet. What's going on here? 22 megapascals. Nothing in the liquid tank. So... A minute later. It will be cold enough. That's over with. I wonder why I'm not getting any pollutant in there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, was there some? No, that was... In the room? How the fuck did pollutant get in here? I'm pretty sure it's not from the airlock. Huh. Well, I have no answer. I mean, I know I spray painted some stuff uh, earlier and then I had a scrubber here, which I now removed. Uh, maybe it didn't get everything. That's a possibility. But there's a way to find out. I will now cycle the airlock 10 times, back and forth, so 20 times effectively. You don't have to witness that. Soon. So that was five times. Um, one moment, please. I just saw that the waste pipe here has very high pressure and uh, has a temperature of five uh, degrees. So why are we not using that then also for cooling? Oh, now you can see the creative tool in action. Oh, I'm now suddenly naked. Uh, bim bom bam bom bim bom. Okay. Ah, did you hear that? The thing turned on for a short moment and lowered the pressure. Anyway, on to number six. Yep, there was ten airlock cycles and every time I waited a bit outside and also inside, well, ins yeah, inside too, for the exchange and so forth. Uh, what does the atmosphere say? Still 0.003%. I would say it hasn't cha changed. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, Nothing here, nothing there. Temperature of the room is... Yeah, it's working. I mean, long story short, this thing is working and... Um, I don't know how helpful the evapor evaporation chamber really was for that whole endeavor. But, we can find out. I will just turn this thing on. Ignoring uh, the lowest temperature. Or rather, let's say the lowest temperature, that we, the temperature that we ever want to reach is zero Kelvin. Um, so, um, well, let's say 10 Kelvin. I will just not subtract this. So I'm trying to bring it down to 10K. And, uh, should turn on now, shouldn't it? Yep. Well, I mean, not just that, but I will just do this. Meep. On with you. 
So we have mines. Uh huh. Wow. I actually thought we had an active vent here that prevents such occurrences, but okay, let's just lower the pressure then of that pipe so the active vent can possibly keep up. Yeah, it's bringing the pressure down. Temperature minus three degrees. So I believe we have minus 20 in our little tank out there, which was minus 40, but since we pressurized it in there, it became liquid condensation that heated it up, you know, by means of phase change, minus 20. So if we ever get the temperature in the, uh, what's this word? Um, well, in our little distillery that is below 20, below minus 20, then uh, we can see that the phase change does something. Pause and resume. I wonder what happens if we uh, turn up the target pressure. Not much, because we already have 20 megapascals. How high can we turn this? Oh, okay. Never mind then. The room is cooling down, keeping the temperature in here up. This is going to be a long experiment. Hmm. Getting there. I mean, it's colder than this. Not a surprise. You know, evaporation does that. Um, and this is the amount of liters we have left. Minus 24 or 25 almost. Nice. Man, this room has become a fridge. Ah, finally something in the tank. But it's also CO2. Oh, I didn't want that. Mm, disappointed. Minus 26. Two hundred twenty-six liters of stuff already. It's so fast. Look at this amount. Dip, dip, dip. I'm basically just copy pasting the outer tank into the small one here. Okay, reasonable assumption is the room will cool down to this temperature eventually, and uh, then this will be able to cool down further, maybe minus 35 degrees tops or bottoms. Or whatever and I guess that's it then I can't be sure and I'm not willing to wait for today so maybe I'll check back tomorrow maybe not I mean this is kind of boring as a video right man what a stupid video I shouldn't upload this now I'm gonna delete it ha ah!